2016. It is so exciting to see all of you. Um, really, there are so many of you uh, here. Right next this weekend. Oh, you can you can cheer. This is one of the highlights of the year for me, and I hope uh, that at the end of the weekend you'll understand why I am such an enthusiastic a supporter and champion of CGIU. Cal TV News had the opportunity to attend the 2016 meeting of CGI University, a three-day event for college students to speak about their developing projects concerning a wide range of global issues. Former President Bill Clinton's daughter and Vice Chair of the Clinton Foundation, Chelsea Clinton, spoke with us on the final day of this meeting about the ways in which the foundation works to make a long-lasting impact on each student's project even after the meeting is over. So we rely on the students to remain in contact with us and thankfully many of them do. Um, at the meeting over the last couple of days we highlighted a number of progress reports, which is what we call them, from commitments that were made in 2015 and some in earlier years, partly so that students who are at the 2016 meeting can really see what is possible if they follow their action plan and they themselves stay committed. Um, they're able to meet or exceed their targets and sometimes if it doesn't work out they're able to kind of reposition and redirect their energies and efforts to still have a meaningful impact. Chelsea, a Stanford alum, also mentioned a creative solution she would like to develop for a global issue if she was given the opportunity to do so. I think my commitment to action, if I kind of were trying to put myself back in my Stanford shoes, you know, thank you for not yeah. booing me. Um, although I really never thought as a Stanford alum I'd be so grateful to be uh, at Berkeley, but I've been super grateful and have been so warmly welcomed and I'm grateful for that warm welcome over the last few days. I think my commitment to action would really focus on um, how to translate um, health information that comes out uh, in crisis or emergency situations like around Ebola or Zika right now into ways um, in which people can really understand it and be empowered by it and hopefully then prevent the stigma and the fear and the too often um, kind of negative reactions that people have um, toward the communities who are most affected who actually need our compassion, our support, our empowerment and not our fear, our disdain, our stigma so that we know how to protect ourselves but also that we still have a real sense of social solidarity, particularly with people who are suffering. I want my peers, you know, to continue growing, continue like, and get to the point where they feel comfortable with their identity, comfortable to saying I'm undocumented and unafraid, 